Hi guys, Saktring here. Today we'll learn about Parabola and how to find turning point. Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about Parabola and how to find turning point. So what is a Parabola? Parabola is a graph of quadratic equations and it's also mirror symmetrical. So there are two types of Parabola. Let's say we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We can divide this parabola into two shapes. One is when a is positive and two is when a is negative. So let's have a look when a is positive first. And this is what positive parabola looks like. It's like a smiley face. At this point, where the graph passes through y-axis is called y-intercept. And these two points where the graph crosses the x-axis are called x-intercepts. And at the very bottom, when the graph changes direction, it's called turning point. And this parabola is always mirror symmetrical along this vertical line and it's called x sub axis of symmetry. How about our negative parabola? It looks the same but just upside down. It's like set face. So again this point where the graph crosses the y-axis is called the y-intercept and these two points where the graph crosses the x-axis it's called the x-intercept. And again at the very top we got our turning point. And again, this parabola is also mirror symmetrical along this vertical line, which is axis of symmetry. So when sketching parabola, being able to find turning point is very important. So let's have a look at how to find turning point. There are three methods that I can show you. Method one is to complete the square. If you want to learn how to complete the square, please check out our previous video on how to complete the square. So if you complete the square, your expression will be turned into a turning point form. So let's have a go with the example. Let's say we have y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. If you complete the square, it will be x plus 2 squared plus 1. Here's the rule. x, you switch the sign. y, you follow the sign. So the number next to x, we have plus 2. So your x value of the turning point will be negative 2. And the number outside the bracket, which is positive 1, will be your y value of the turning point. So the turning point will be negative 2, 1. Second example, we have, we have y equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 8. If you complete the square, it will become 2 bracket x plus 5 on 4 square plus 39 on 8. Again, x, you switch the sign, y, you follow the sign. So it will be negative 5 on 4, positive 39 on 8. Let's move on to our second method. Second method is x is negative b on 2a. So let's say we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And the x value of the turning point is always negative b on 2a. So you can use this formula to find the x value, then you can find the y value after. So let's have a go with the example. We have y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. So your a value is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Your, x, your b value is the coefficient of x, which is negative 6. So use the formula, x is negative, negative 6 over 2 times by 1, which is 6 over 2, which is positive 3. So this is the x value of the turning point, and to find the y value, you just have to substitute x equals 3 into your equation. So it will be 3 squared minus 6 times by 3 plus 8 which is 9 minus 18 plus 8, which is negative 1. So your turning point of this equation will be 3, negative 1. Let's move on to our last method today. So let's say we have the turning point x, y. 
your x value at the turning point is always the midpoint between two x-intercepts. So if you already know two x-intercepts, you can easily find the x value of the turning point. Let's have a go with the example here. We have y equals x minus 4, x minus 2. Using null factor law, x-intercept is 4 and 2. And if you want to find the midpoint between these two, all you have to do is add those two values divided by 2. So 2 plus 4 over 2, which is 3. This is the x value of the turning point. And again, if you want to find the corresponding y value, substitute x equals 3 into your equation. y equals 3 minus 4, 3 minus 2. Negative 1 times by 1, which is negative 1. Therefore, your turning point is 3, negative 1. Our last example today, we have y equals 2x squared minus x minus 6. If you find the x-intercept, you will get negative 3 on 2 and 2. And again, add those 2 and divide by 2. So you'll be negative 3 on 2 plus 2 divided by 2, which is negative 3 on 2 plus 4 on 2 over 2 which is half divided by 2, which is quarter. So again, if you want to find the corresponding y value, simply substitute x is quarter into your equation. 2 bracket, quarter square, minus quarter, minus 6. So quarter square is 1 on 16, so it'll be 2 times by 1 on 16, minus 1 on 4, minus 6. But 6 is same as 6 over 1. So 2 times by 1 on 16 is 1 on 8. So let's match all our denominators to 8. So it will be minus 2 on 8, minus 48 on 8. It will be negative 49 on 8. So our turning point of this equation will be quarter minus 49 over 8. See you guys in the next video. Bye everyone! Thank you so much for watching our quadratic videos today. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel for more math tips and materials. Study smarter, not harder with sack.